Hi everyone, Bob here from Insidium. It's Top Tip Tuesday time. And today we're going to be looking at mesh tools. And we're going to be creating from a 3D animated object a really cool 2D sketch effect. So let's jump into cinema and start the clock. So here we have this animated mouse and if we go to the Cinema 4D asset browser here you can find this if you go to the example scenes folder the character animation folder and in there you've got this brilliant mouse example scene and it's got this rigged mouse now we've just cleared out some of the stuff we don't need the camera and the lights and we're left just with the mouse and the character uh, tools which we've just made invisible because we don't need to see all the controls and stuff so there is our mouse so we're gonna start making this look like a 2d sketch so let's go to our insidium menu we're gonna go to mesh tools and we're gonna bring in the brilliant mesh tools edge spline now if we take our mouse and make it a child of the edge spline you're gonna see what it does it creates a spline for every polygon edge of our model and if we hit play obviously that's going to animate along and that's going to work that's looking good so um, what we want to do is use a different mode this mode is obviously very useful for all kinds of things like hood elements FUIs that kind of thing but if we go to the edge spline object settings there's loads of um, stuff that this um, this tool can do it can do standard which is just um, a spline for every edge but we can also do curvature so these splines could be drawn based on the curvature of our object with a curvature angle of zero it's going to be exactly the same but if we increase this then only the more curvy parts of the model will get the edge spline and the flatter parts won't so that's really good but this isn't dynamic this just but no matter where the camera is obviously the curvature of the model isn't changing so these splines don't change either however we do have a more dynamic option which is going to be dependent on the camera angle in relation to the uh, the object so let's change this mode from curvature to outline and this mode is amazing so if we click on outline and now look we've got this outline spline of our object and this is dynamic so if we move this around look the outline spline is changing to always be correct for the position of the camera in relation to the object and if we hit play obviously it animates with our object so that is really really cool so what are we going to do to develop this into a kind of sketch technique? Well, let's set the scene up first to make it look more 2D. So we're going to bring in a Cinema 4D sky. And this sky we want to be white. So I'm going to go to my basic tab, change the display color to custom, and then make it white. Okay. Now what we want to do is make our mouse white as well. So we'll go to our material manager here. And look, we've got this basic Cinema 4D material, which just has white in the luminance channel. Let's put that on our mouse. So now that's white. Excellent. So now all we need to do is make our spline a color that's a bit more sketchy. So kind of a gray charcoal -y color. Let's go to our edge spline. We can change the spline color to a kind of gray now at the moment it's just the outline but you kind of get the look there we have our mouse and as we move the camera around we're getting what looks like a 2d sketch excellent but we can go one step further because this tool is so, just so brilliant so if we increase the outline angle we start getting more what looks like shading as our outline encroaches into the model so even just that how cool is that and as we move it again it's dynamic so that's looking really excellent and to finish the trick what we're able to do let's just dolly in we can get um, some of these shaded parts to overlap a little let's just pull that in a bit so we've got a bit more if we look we've got a start offset and an end offset so if we put this on say 0 0.05 centimeters this is a tiny model so we don't need much so it overshoots it just a little bit and now we're getting like a cross hatching effect so now if we hit play there we have got our dynamic sketching of the outline of our 3d model to make look like a really cool dynamic 2d sketch